Just found a uh, artillery shell. Hello, YouTube. <laughs> Good morning. Welcome to another episode of the Rustic Treasure Hunters. I'm Ryan. This is my son Lachlan. We got Chris over here. Um, we put out a community post asking what what you'd see what, what you would like to see more of. Um, we bridges. had we had bridges on there, which won. So we are at today on the and sixth street. We're <laughs> today. We're <laughs> So you voted for bridges, so we're on the 6th Street Bridge today. I also had Cousin Chris on there, which probably, I haven't even looked at it, but probably was dead last for Cousin Chris. Nobody really wants to see him. Right, no. Right? Okay, good. I'm glad we're on the same page there. Uh, we have a hat giveaway on 424 at 3 p.m. All you have to do is be subscribed to our YouTube channel and comment on the Restoration Studio hey, video, hey. hat. Hey. Why don't you do it on 4.20 at 4.20 in the afternoon? Anyway, that's the contest. So if you'd like to buy any of the magnets we are using, the link will be down in the description. If you'd like to buy any of the merch uh, for Rustic Treasure Hunters, the link will be down in the description and our Instagram and Facebook. So without further ado, let's get chucking. Woo! All right, first toss on this beautiful day. What do we got? We got a spring. Nothing too fancy. No? That looks like a coin to me, but you just never know. Not. Something, what is this? Oh, look at that trash, buddy. <laughs> look at that trash. It's a big old pile of trash. All right. There we go. A box of some sort, maybe? That's cool, it's a big piece. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Oh, that's a good nail. It's it's not a nail. Oh, what is well, that? I think it is. Mm. Not sure. It doesn't look like a nail. But then I just got this. Good job, bud. Yeah, it's fine. We'll get it sometime. What is that? That's interesting. Did you? Yeah. I don't know what that is. Nice. Uh, hold on. Uh, uh, Chris, uh, just found a, uh, artillery shell. Um, uh, <laughs> how you doing? What did you find? Uh, what, you, what does that look like? Uh, oh, boy, why is it in the river here? Sure. <laughs> you think that's live? Well, it's not the shell or the. Okay, I don't know if they blow up and. No, see, this is like it's almost like a bullet. Okay. So this is the brass casing right what here. What the heck, dude? Yeah. I don't think him getting back to uh, make a difference. I don't. That's crazy, guys. See how big this is. Is it heavy? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Um. Here, take a picture of me with it, would you? Oh, here, I'll just take with my phone. Oh, no, mine. Otherwise, you won't text it to me. Oh, whatever. And I'll be like, hey, where's my picture of my mortar shell? That's pretty good find there. Yeah. It's probably the best find I ever found now. 
Oh uh, yeah, that might be. So just so we're all clear, uh, YouTube family, Chris has found a mortar shell and it is live. It's for like a howitzer, dude. It's a what? Like a, a cannon because it's got the shell with the, the rim on it. Why is it it's here? It's a rim fire. Holy cow. Oh. Just don't beat on the end of it. Well. <laughs> Dude! It's going in my basement. Well, think about that. It's been in there forever. Well, I know. I'll never get it back. You might get that back. Ah. For, for safety purposes, I don't think you should have it. It could blow. I put it in my barn. Dude! Alright, Chris is calling the police on this, um, I guess, live round we just found. Um, yes, I'm magnet fishing on the 6th Street Bridge on the Grand River here, and um, I just pulled up like a, a like almost a howitzer shell that has not been fired. It's like almost two feet long. Um, okay. Yeah, it looks, I don't dare touch it. I have it on the bridge, you know, I don't want to move it, so. Okay. Uh, what do you look like, sir, so there's no good to find? I'm a uh, big guy. We got two big guys out here, and um, we're in a... A Carhartt, Carhartt sweatshirt, blue. It's about two feet long. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. uh, it could be an explosive. I'm not, we're not really sure. Okay, uh, we'll send an officer over to be with you. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thanks. Bye. 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 All right. So, guys, Chris, just to go over this again, Chris found a live. I don't know if it. What was it? Hauser. Uh, that's what I'm guessing. Hauser shell, right here. It has not been fired. That's my big boot. It's got to be over almost two feet long. He just got that up with the barbarian, Magnetar barbarian. This is how long my foot is. So we, he has called the cops. They'll be coming here, figure out what's going on. Uh, I'm not sure if they're gonna send the bomb squad or to let us take it home. We're not really sure. Yeah, it's a wall, wall mounter. Wall hanger for sure. Wall hanger. So maybe I can put that in my sandblasting cabinet and spray <laughs> the end of it a little bit. All right, cops are here. We'll just shut down the bridge and wait for Maycroft to get here. Alright. Alright, right, right now they're going to shut down the bridge. I believe they're bringing the bomb squad in. Is that the bomb squad you're bringing in? Yeah. Alright, they're directing traffic to get out of here. This is crazy, folks. YouTube channel or group. Awesome. So, thank you. Yep. The, uh, the awesome. captain that's coming uh, from uh, the bomb squad. Oh, sorry, he loves this stuff. Like, oh, he does he? Gets into it. Yeah, he's really into it. So. Is that a magnet on the camera itself? Is it? Oh, it is. So oh, have, it goes on your. So I have a magnet inside my vest. I have a magnet inside my vest. It doesn't hook to the the um. No, your... so there's a couple different layers. Oh, I got you. And then I have this one I put yeah, inside my right. vest. Some people put it like in their shirt pocket. Okay. So the vest isn't actually magnetic? <laughs> the uh, Depending on the size of it um, and the condition of it, we don't have a mobile encasement that's big enough for certain things. So we usually have to call the state police, Michigan State Police, for that. Um, so he's going to assess it and then. Uh, Make that determination. If he needs to call the state police, he will. Here's their here's their card for their official site. Oh, so sweet! You know, YouTube and everything. This is how you guys. This is like the fifth piece of ordinance they pulled up in the last two years. They're actually doing a the guy I'm consulting with. He's actually doing an article about it. Really? It's happening so much all over. Wow. So I gave him the last three pieces we had, you know, and then hopefully it'll be in a magazine here. So. Oh, that's cool. I think it's a I think it's a trainer. I'm not positive. So what I do is I consult with him. He was military exposed for his disposal guy and he'll come back and tell me what if we can transport it or not, otherwise I gotta call either the military or the state police and come with their total team vessel and we'll transport it safely out of here. But right. sometimes these can have a charge in them anyways. They may not have the explosive, but the uh, fuse at the top have a charge. 
So we always want to be careful with that too. Or we could transport it, but then we're gonna to have to deal with it later with the military. Let's see what he says. We yeah. pull, they pulled up grenades, a couple yeah. more shells like this, mortars. Um, it's not uncommon right now. Yeah, that's it's great. All over the country. So it's safe to move, that's good. Oh, good. All right, Jenny. I'll, I'll move the bomb before I want to go. I will take care of it. I will <laughs> try to pick <laughs> out. If it is a dummy round, is there any way I can get it back? No, unfortunately. Take lots um, of pictures. I'm not the expert in it. You know, sure. He can tell me it's safe to move, yep. but until they literally come here and put hands and eyes on it and x-ray it, you gotcha. can't let you have something that might have an explosive. Sure. Oh, yeah. and if it was like an empty grenade, I'd say go ahead. Yeah, yeah right. something sure. like that. Yeah. But all right guys. We're we're gonna end the day on a crazy note. Chris found that 75 millimeter armor piercing live round. Uh, we actually looked it up. It looks like it uh, actually goes to a Sherman uh, war tank from World War II. What it's doing in the river, we have no idea. But awesome job today, Chris. That's a one in a lifetime find for any magnet fisherman. So I think you're done. You're retired today, right? Yep, I'm done. Take yep. care. All right, see you, buddy. So, <laughs> so thanks for watching. Give us. Uh, we appreciate all the support. We appreciate all the support. Um, that's just a crazy, crazy day. The bomb squad came out, uh, all the police, they shut down the bridge. People were freaking out everywhere. People were talking about this everywhere we went around today. Going, hey, did you hear about that uh, bomb they found? So it was pretty cool. So good job, Chris, you beat me today, but there's always like tomorrow. To yeah. There's always tomorrow, right? right? So appreciate it, guys. If you'd like to purchase, uh, Magnetar Magnet, especially the ones we use, which is the Barbarian, which Chris pulled up that mortar, or that, I'm sorry, that, that live shell with. The link will be down in the description. Our merch will be down in the description, Instagram and Facebook. Peace, guys. Thanks for the support. Woohoo! Yeah.